I asked uh, Damar, uh, I mean, we talked about this a little bit in training camp, that without an old head like Luis around this year, presumably more of those leadership qualities or responsibilities fall on you and, and Damar. Um, have you felt that? Do you notice guys looking to you guys more than maybe they have in, in years past? Um, I don't know. I think, you know, at the end of the day, we just got to go out there and play our game. And um, I think that's what we've been doing. And, you know, at the end of the day, we got a great group of guys. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, I got a great group of guys. And, you know, myself and Damari, you know, we understand that we're going to be leaders. And Damari Carroll is going to be a leader. And Patrick Patterson is going to be a leader. But we understand that. More by example than, than anything I else. think it's more by example. And, you know, we got some experience and guys with years in here. You know, me me being the most and the, and the eldest guy in here, which is unfortunate, but it makes me feel bad. But, uh, you know, it's fun. You know, it's fun having these young guys around. Who were some of those guys uh, when you were first coming to the league in Memphis or Houston oh, that, that made an I mean, impact on you that you look back on? Uh, me, uh, personally, I had Damon Stoudemire. I had Chucky Atkins. Um, you know, I even got a chance, even when I was playing with Shane Battier, um, <clears throat> uh, Powell, was, I was on the team with Powell, Eddie Jones. I mean, I had a lot of veteran guys in my first couple of years in the league, and um, it was fun. You know, I got a chance to, to grow and learn from some great guys. It's cool to think that there are guys in this room that can a number when of I'm, years from when now. When I'm long yeah. gone and dead, uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully they remember me. <laughs> hopefully I teach them well, taught them well. Okay, are you the cheerleading here? What's what? I'm bothering you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm doing something for my own sanity right now. So no. <laughs> I was wondering if somebody wanted to say something. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. You wear a shirt. Uh, my Christmas <laughs> present. I appreciate that. How big is this West Coast trip? Uh, it's going to be a, a big one. We, we, we need every, every game. We, we need to try to go out there and play every game as hard as possible. Um, unfortunately, we got to travel one game and come you know, back, but it's professional basketball. It's professional. We're going to go out there and do our jobs no matter what. Is it a measurement of where the team will be? I mean, you guys are nope. It's, it's a one game, one day at a time. And that's how we always do it, and you know that. So you knew my answer. Very, <laughs> very Kyle Lowry cliche-ish. Kyle, is there anything uh, specific little things that's kind of going on with the team offensively that's propelled them to where they are? Because uh, efficiency-wise, you guys are off the charts. Is there specific things that you guys are doing better than last year? Uh, um, DeMar DeRozan scoring whatever he's scoring. He's scoring a lot. And um, we're, I think we're screening better. I think that's one thing we're doing. We're screening better. I think everyone's just involved and, and has, has the confidence to go out there and just play their game. And no one's worried about anything but, but us winning as a team.